There is no race that captures the attention of the general public like the Grand National. 30 challenging fences are navigated in the longest national hunt race in Britain. It's a chance to write your name into racing history. As they come to the last fence in the national, in a head-bobbing, pulsating finish to the Grand National. I've come to Ogmore by Sea to meet Christian Williams and his national hopeful Potter's Corner as they prepare for the season ahead and the chance of Aintree glory come April. We bought him as a four-year-old at Cheltenham Sales, showing that we can train a good horse. He'd be the boss in the fields of all the other horses, but he's still kind, just a special horse. Yeah, looks as though he's quite happy enjoying it as well. Growing as a kid, my uncle was always big into his horse racing, and my grandfather had horses, but try our luck, really, and I think we hit the jackpot. I think Christian called to say he finally got one, and when I clicked on it and saw the price, I nearly fell off the seat. So uh, we managed to assemble a, a group of guys together and uh, away we went. He won at Chepstow, first time out in a bumper. He stays well, he jumps well and he's, he's just a good horse. He's got plenty of class as well. It was touch and go whether he went to the Midlands Nationals. We went there and had a fair idea we could get him better than that. And then it was all systems go then for the Welsh National the following season. And that must have been one of the highlights in your whole lifetime career, I mean. Ah, that was great, yeah, I think that um, only the Grand National will probably top that, so. I think it's hard to put into words. We sort of went there first and foremost for the day and then as things went on, everything fell into place. You know, Potter did what he did and I think it was just a gigantic reward for everyone involved, really. How ready was he going into this year's Grand National? Yeah, I think he was in good form and um, I thought he had a chance at the weight, thought he'd suit the track, his style of racing. Everyone getting in touch, trying to back him on the anti-post. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, I've never been so popular, so big race be able to go. And then um, obviously the news, what happened, uh, came and, you know, it was absolutely devastating, really. It was a shame it was called off, but we had great fun then with the Virtual National. They're off for the Virtual National of 2020. I think I called you. First thing he said, I don't know whether to laugh or cry, to be honest. <laughs> Potter's Corner all out, clings on. Potter's Corner won the Virtual National. And my next question was, do we virtually yeah. get the prize winning? Yeah. Do you think he's got all the right attributes to be a real Grand National contender? Yeah, we think so. He's quite economical, the way he jumps, he's not too exuberant. Uh, hopefully we'll get one prep before the Welsh National and then march on to, um, to this year's Grand National and try and put that right. Do you feel as though training them on that sand strengthens them up? I think so, yeah. It's hard to go on being a stay and chaser. Probably good for endurance. Make sure you look after him. I will do. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all. Potter's Corner has been effective on all, all types of ground, you know, by winning two nationals and being unlucky in an Ida chase. And under the care of Christian, there's no reason why, you know, we can't aim high and try and do it all again, really. Does it mean more to you? training a winner than what it does when you ride a winner as a jockey. Oh yeah, it's completely different. It gets so much more satisfaction to become a part of the family. If you build up um, a bond with the horses, you spend a lot more time with them. And what would it mean to you to win a Grand National? Something you dream about really. We think he's trained really well this year, so he's gone into that winning groove. He always steps up to the, the plate as such, and he's, a, he's never let us down. But this horse just keeps on winning. Whatever happens, he won't leave anything on the racetrack.